leaping into the advantage. Well, I get in there with a leaping, <laughs> leaping reference before you did there, Mike. That's, that's the only salmon I'll, jokes I've got. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cross that one off my list then. <laughs> Yes, he's been around uh, playing a number of open tournaments around Europe what? the last few years as Salmon. But his first time qualifying on the European Tour. And he's been playing darts for 25 years, but only sporadically Stanley. cropped up at various minor tournaments. And things like the... Antwerp Open, there was another one in Holland. We're going back sort of 2005-2006 here. One hundred. Whereas Bernd, you might have seen him a little bit more regularly, played in the 2012 World Cup, representing Germany. He has actually won a game on the Euro Tour. He beat uh, Justin Pipe at the UK Masters. That's as far as he's got, though, getting past his first game. And he also made one appearance at the World Championships at Ali Pali, be beaten by Dennis Priestley in 2011 in the first round, and earned his two-year tour card at uh, Q School in 2012. Yeah, has the dubious honour of being the last person to be beaten at a World Championship Seriously. by Dennis Priestley. Dennis lost his next game and then two years later appeared again at the World Championships, lost in the first round. Prefers a game of cards nowadays, does the menace. Not sure if we'll see him at the World Championships again. But it is Bernard who's down to a finish first. 60. And you require one. For an early break of throw then, that's a good start to it. One for double top, or nine for double sixteen. Eighty-five. Well, he's missed it by a way in the end, a shake of the head from Burnt. Renyon may get a shot at the bullseye here. Got to find that treble. Moves over. Nails it. Oh, well, didn't really threaten it in the end. It would have been some announcement to make for himself on this European tour in his first game. But Bernd Royth is back looking at double eight for a break of throw and a one nil lead. And, oh, I thought he snuck it in the corner there. He's got to go across a double four. And there it is. And the German takes an early lead. Second leg, it's Bernd to throw first. Game on. And an early break of throw for the German. One hundred and forty. Great way to start the leg on his own throat. What has Salmon got? All well and good going and beating the likes of Yala Klassen to come through qualifying, but once you get up on the big stage, the last thing you want to do is not perform, not even get a leg on the board. Sixty. Ninety-five. Bernd Roy is not the only German we've got in action today. One hundred and forty. We've got Germany's great young hope in the world of darts, Max Hopp. He's on uh, the penultimate game of this evening and has the unenviable task of trying to stop Terry the Bull Jenkins. One hundred. And yes, given the um, support we always get when events go to Germany, five of the European Tour events go to Six. Germany, it would be great to see one of these uh, German players really break through and into the upper echelons of the sport. 
And a lot of hopes are being pinned on young Matt Cobb to do that. 101. So he wants 101 again. 9 for double 16 was the way he went this last time, and he's doing it this time as well. And he, he hits it that time leg. for a 2-0 oh, lead. Very, Very impressive, Burn Roy. Not to be sniffed out, 101 check out. He wasn't particularly close in the first leg. Missed the double 16 by some way. But bang on the money in the second. Good opening visit from Salmon on his own throw here. He looks to get his first leg on the board. 100. As you said, Wes Newton, the number 16 seed, awaits the winner of this one. 100. Man who knows what it's like to go all the way in these European Tour events. We've already seen two of the host nation qualifiers go through to the second round this afternoon. Mensur Sulevich and his World Cup teammate Roby John Rodriguez. And another one will be on stage after this game, Michael Rastovitz. And then uh, at the end of the night, UA Backer takes on Dean Wynn Stanley. Rastovitz uh, up next against uh, Big John Henderson. 100. Salmon Uruguay, 161. Yeah, tough job that. Big, big score is John Henderson when he gets going. His peculiar rocking motion when he throws. 81. Well, Salmon's in a great position here to get his first leg on the board. Burnt needs something big to put some pressure on. That's the way to start. A ton 40. Well, 100. ton 40 would have left him the 101 he took out in the previous leg. But Salmon should get a dart at double top at least. Well, he's not made that easy for himself. Well, 20 for tops. 40. That's the best he can do. This would be a body blow to Renyon. But you're not going to take it out if your first dart's in the one. 41. Salmon, you require 40. So for a first leg on the European Tour for Simon Renyon. And there it is, and that should settle him down a little bit. Full leg is burnt to throw first. Game on. Yes, a good solid leg that for the Dutchman. Well, he can obviously play. I mean, you don't beat Yellow Klassen unless you're a half-decent darts player. 43. 97. But, uh, Bernard Royce looks like the sort of guy who's not phased by anything. Just gets on with his game. 59. And uh, used to playing up on the big stages, as we've uh, said. Yeah, he did get past his opening game at the European Championship. Uh, back in 2010, that was. He beat Dennis Ovens. And he gave Raymond Van Barneveld a fright. Only lost 10-7 to the five-time world champion. Uh, not happy with that. Is burnt. And that's only marginally better. Yes, just uh, stood back and composed himself after that single one, but could only follow it up with another 40 from the other two darts. 43. And uh, interesting, Salmon using England flights with the flag of St George on them. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a... That's a wise manoeuvre. Things, things haven't gone well. As Elmar was delighted to point out to Alex Roy at the end of that game. 
just won a game of darts and booked yourself into the second round to face Phil Taylor. First thing he says, you've just been knocked out of the World Cup. Full Jeff Shreve's treatment. <laughs> Salmon just looking to move across and find a treble 20 again that would leave him on a finish. 100. Well, he'll accept 100. He has stolen the darts from Roy here. He's in pole position to level the match up at two apiece. That's a lot better from Burnt. A lot better. 120. Couldn't fill it up. But it gets him back in this leg. One hundred. Sixty. So Renyal then to draw back level again at two apiece. He's seen Bernard Royce take out one oh one. Can he match it? He's going the same way. Nine for double sixteen. Sixty-nine. Burns require one hundred and Well, to be fair, it took Burnt two attempts to get that one oh one check out. This one thirteen for a holder throw. Ninety-three left to come down for trouble nineteens. Finds it. Just takes a moment. He's looking at double eighteen for a three one lead. Oh fractions. Fractions. That was a big dart with Salmon poised on double 16. So he's hit the single eight to double 12 now. Double six around the houses. 20. Not far away, but never really convincing in that visit. And Burnt can re establish that two leg lead. Well, He's frustrated. I don't. He certainly didn't want to miss inside there. And he certainly doesn't hear. Last start in hand. Twenty-seven. Salmon required twelve. Bit nervy. Bit edgy. But even at this early stage of the game, this leg could prove crucial. Double three. Nine score. Well, that's always the danger. You require nine. So it's all a bit scrappy do, this fourth leg. Twenty four darts apiece thrown so far. Double four then. For three one. Game shot. And, and gets it. Third roll. His leg is salmon and throws first. Game on. A look of relief on Burnett's face. But he is now 3 1 up against the Dutchman. Well, it may not have been brilliant, but it's worth exactly the same as a 9 darter. Certainly, in terms of the game position, you do get a few extra quid for a 9 darter. Well, we, we saw Vincent van der Boek go very close to one, didn't we, at the, earlier on this afternoon? Certainly did. Double 12 was all he needed to do it. He did go on to beat his fellow countryman Christian Kist, did Vincent, playing very well indeed. Yeah, probably the best performance we've seen. Mental Sulevich was excellent as well in his game against Dennis Smith. Forty-five. But yeah, John Henderson up next. Michael Smith and David Pallet after that. Webster Baxter looks a cracker. Stephen Bunting against Aaron Monk. Terry Jenkins and Max Hopp. And then Dean Wynn Stanley against Uwe Backer. There are some names there 45. that are quite capable of lighting up this arena and putting in a special performance. I can promise you this. Dean Win Stanley's shirt will light up this arena. <laughs> 100. It is as pink as you are ever likely to see anything. Salmon pink. Is 
45. Well, it may be a bit ploddy, this leg. However, Bernd Royf has quietly strolled into a very commanding position. He's looking good for a possible 4-1 lead. Unless Simon Renyon can find some more of that. 140. Well, a ton 40 Andrew keeps him in touching distance, but Bernd Roy still has the advantage. Lovely check out this. Not going to happen. But it can be set up absolutely fantastically with another one of those. That is superb from Bernd Roy. Well, it's still on. Ooh, needed the treble 17 for double top. 91. But there's a bit of pressure on this for Bernd Roy now. Double 80 once for a 4 1 lead. Double four, he's hit it a couple of times. And he's, he's hit it again. Burnt Roy. Oh, Burnt Roy. He's been Burnt. saved by double four. Demon. He's hit it three times so far this match. And that uh, leg was against the throw. And you sense it is a long way back now for Salmon. Four one down. Look at the way Burnt's getting off the sixth leg. Oh, he's just taking his time. Composing himself for the third dart. Oh, he's deflected out of the treble 20 there. Desperately unlucky for Burnt. He said after he got his first leg on the board, maybe Renyon had settled down a bit, start playing his better stuff. Not really up to his game. And Burnt's been allowed to quietly go about his business. Looks to be getting the job done. However, we have seen today already comebacks are very, very possible here at the Austrian Darts Open. And yes, this is another good leg from Bernard. 100. Yeah, he'll be happy with that. Leaves himself the Della. 60. Andrew Guo, 138. Well, 161 scored after three visits to the board. Ain't good enough for Salmon. And this looks good enough to leave him double Nine top eight. for a potential 13 data. You can't argue with that. 100. And so to go to within one 100. leg of victory and a place in round two against Wes Newton. Bernd Royce wants double top Game and gets double top. Bernd Royce. Yeah, great leg of darts from Bernd Roy fit. And there is Yella Classen and Ronnie Hybrex, Kim's brother, who didn't make it through the qualifiers last night. 85. Is that Ronnie? I thought it was Kim. I, I think Ronnie was sitting down next to Kim. Ah, so Kim's in action tomorrow. 85. Against Benito van der Pas. Oh, they're all. It's all. It's an entire family high break. <laughs> oh well. Fifty nine. You saved for the final dart there, Simon. But well, here comes Burnt Roy. One hundred and forty. Yeah, it's been. Attritional, but it's been a steady march for the German. He has the upper hand. He doesn't look like he's going to surrender it. 81. Renyon's just struggled to get going. 
100. And he'll take a ton. He has stolen the darts here on the Renyon throat. And if he can't find a treble here, when he's got one, a second would leave him on a finish. Wow, oh, fantastic effort from Simon Ragnon. He must feel like this game is slipping through his fingers, but he still had enough to keep fighting, produce that 140, gets him down to a finish, but a 140 from Royth here. Oh, wonderful stuff, wonderful stuff. To keep the dream alive, it won't happen now, so Bernd Royth will be back for double 18 for what in the end is a fairly convincing 6-1 win against a fellow qualifier yeah as convincing as we've seen today another 13 data for Bernd Royce and the German chef has cooked salmon 6-1 he's through to the next round Wes Newton awaits him and coming up we've got Big John Henderson against Michael Rastovitz more action from the Austrian Darts Open coming up Ranjan, Herrn, komm kurz zu mir, komm kurz zu mir. Gratuliere dir erstmal. Es ging ein bisschen zäh los, fand ich aber hinten raus äh, ordentlich gespielt. Ja, ich war auch einfach nervös. Ich habe die letzten Male, als ich auf der Bühne gespielt habe, immer gleich die erste Runde verloren. Äh, hat man schon die Angst, dass es sozusagen in, sich im Kopf festfrisst. Ich habe das auf dem Weg jetzt hier auf die Bühne auch gedacht, äh, auf der European Tour überhaupt schon mal eine Runde auf der Bühne überstanden? Noch nie. Ja. Und äh, du wirst dann morgen äh, Nachmittag dein zweites Match spielen dürfen hier am Hauptfeld und dann äh, wird direkt Kernig, Nummer 10 der Welt, US Newton wartet. Ja, das ist eine gute Auslosung. Also ich freue mich, gegen einen der Top 16 spielen zu können morgen. Ich hoffe, ich kann die gute Form von heute nach morgen transportieren, aber ob das ähnlich passiert. Aber klar, West ist Top-Favorit, das ist ja schon klar. Aber ich hoffe, es wird ein gutes Spiel. Das hoffen wir auch. Das Wichtigste, ne? Einfach ein gutes Spiel machen und dann am Ende.